my name is Aaron. This is October 2nd, uh, 2021. It's just before 8 a.m. Sun's just starting to come up here. It's pretty cold. Um, I'm heading out to uh, on a 10 night, 11 day backpacking trip down through the thoroughfare. At least that's the plan. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab my pack. I gotta get moving because it's uh, cold. I've got about nine and three quarter miles to go into uh, campsite 8J1, which is on the west east side of the uh, Heart Lake. It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, hoping for good weather. Here we go. Let's go look at these uh, features. All right. You see down here, there's all the uh, geysers and steam vents and stuff and right out here's Heart Lake Mount Sheridan we're down to the lower part of the valley we're not all the way down yet but we're getting there and there's all these uh, hot pots down here with the sunlight coming in boy these things are just exquisite right now here at the Heart Lake cabin. That's pretty cool. They did some kind of unique chinking. So it's like they took young pine and smashed it in there and chinked it with nails. All right. So we're going to be going basically to the Trail Creek Trail, only not all the way. It's basically like it's less than two miles to camp from here. Sun's getting intense now. <laughs> There's loons over there. That's where they are. All right. So time to move on from here. All right, here we are at AJ1, down that way. Let's go get to camp.
So I'm finally at 8J1. As you can see, big wide open area. There's a crowd around the fire pit. Bear poles right up there. I'm gonna get stuff hung, make some more water. That sucks in Crocs. Whew, that was slippery. So here's looking at the other way of Heart Lake. Can over here and show you Heart Lake. Red Mountain, you know, Sheridan. We're gonna get some glare. But yeah, talk about beautiful. Whoever put the rocks here. Thanks. So this is where I set the tin up. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad on this, but it's uh, the sun just went back down behind Sheridan. You can see. And then you can see it, but there's some sun shafts over there coming up through the mountain. Here you can see the, uh, the cliffs over there. I don't remember the name of that one. I know you get pretty close to it on the South Boundary Trail. Today was a good day. Hiked in, got a super early start. My watch says I did 12, 13.39 miles, but I did a bunch of running around camp and a bunch of different shots and stuff, so I would believe it. <clears throat> Beautiful day, hot, got hot there for a little bit, but this campsite's pretty cool. It's up on a, on a lead. Hopefully uh, we won't have anything coming through here at night, but I just uh, made dinner and ate that. Got a fire started and I'm gonna sit here, watch the sun go down completely and see what tonight holds. <laughs> it's beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm stupid or brave. Probably a little of both. So that'll wrap up day number one and uh, I'll check in with you in the morning. Good night. Boy, last night was super quiet, super cold, and super long. <laughs> it felt like the night just went on forever, which I guess it really did. And I made it a long time last night. I made it till nine. And then uh, I was just too tired. I had to go to bed. There was no way I was going to make it much longer. Man, what a beautiful morning, huh? It's cold, though. All three of my water bottles this morning were completely froze up. I don't mean just, you know, a little bit of ice, you shake it and it breaks apart. No, they're completely frozen solid. I didn't really hear anything last night. Um, the elk were bugling. Um, I heard a few coyotes, but they were ways off. There was nothing close to camp. I think there was one elk that was out here in the, um, there's a meadow on both sides of camp, but uh, the one going on the south side of camp, uh, there was a, a moose or an elk over there. He kept bugling for a few hours and then he moved on. Probably the most annoying thing has been the damn squirrels and chipmunks because they seem to be getting into everything. <laughs> damn chipmunks. Anyways, this is Sunday, 
October 3rd. And uh, our goal for today is to head over to 7G1, which we're going to hike out of this campsite after it warms up a little bit. We're going to go up over Surprise Creek, up Outlet Creek, um, over the pass, over the Continental Divide. And then um, we'll start dropping down and we'll get to Grouse Creek. And then we'll camp at 7G1 at Grouse Creek. Today's an easy day. I'm in no rush at all. Matter of fact, I might even not even leave till 10 or 11 today. Yeah. This is a vacation. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to take a vacation on it. Anyways, it's chilly. I'm going to go start a fire. Short lake this morning. There's a bunch of fog. Pretty though. Coffee and oatmeal time. It is cold, man. Remember I said my water bottles froze all the way through? They actually did freeze all the way through. Hopefully some hot fluids and hot food will get me going. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to hold it still, but there's a loon out there. All right, we're hitting the trail. Everything's cleaned up and uh, it's time to go. Boy, the water is so clear and just mirror calm. All right, made it back to the uh, main trailhead here. This lovely meadow, it's just beautiful. It just continues back that way. Just pulled up at 8J6. It is uh, about 12, 15, 12, 20 goes down to 8J6. I was going to try and stay there on my last night, but someone already had it. Surprisingly. Just made it to Surprise Creek. I'll go ahead and cross this. Same spot I crossed it last year, right there. And the trail continues out that way. Just look down to the uh, Heart River slash Snake River Valley. Well, I made it up to the top here. I'm getting ready to drop down into Outlet Creek. Figure I'll take a break here. And um, I didn't realize how fast I was moving. Uh, I'm already pretty much done with the hard, the first hard part, which, you know, it's just climbing up this hill. Here's probably your last look back towards Mount Sheridan. Here's uh, Outlet Creek in uh, the valley here. I'm going to be heading down to the left. Got about a mile and a half, maybe two miles to get to the head of this valley. Oh, those colors are vibrant. Quite beautiful. This valley is pretty right now. Colors are something else. There's a shot of Outlet Lake. There's some uh, ducks down there in the water. Here's a look back down the valley, the way I came. It's beautiful. One last look here at Outlet Lake.
So, took about a 30 minute break. Ate a green belly bar. And uh, that's gonna kick in real soon. That's gonna be good. I need a little, little fuel to get me down the rest of the hill. Looks like the water level has gone down substantially. At least a foot or two since last year. So I made it to 7G1 and 7G2 trail. And uh, that goes right out this way. And then tomorrow I'll come back and head up the creek trail, which goes out that way. Here we are at 7G1. It's 4.10 in the afternoon. And I'm beat. I'm ready to hang food and set up camp. It appears that the fire pit at 7G1 has been dug out by a bear. But food's hung right there. And um, I'll swing you around here and show you camp. Basically, Grouse Creek is right over there. You've got this thick meadow of uh, willows. And uh, then back the way we came and then over this way you've got more willows and a creek that uh, runs around to the right over there and wraps all the way around where those willows are all the way to the back over there which is cool because it provides a really good spot to put your tent because you've got protection on three out of four sides so I am right over there. This is going to be the uh, end of day number two. It's a good day. I'm tired. My feet are kind of hurting today. Beautiful spot. I am a little worried that our fire pit was dug out. It looks like it was dug out a week or more ago. There's no bear scat in camp. I haven't seen any nearby. I'm gonna let uh, the night roll in. I'm gonna wait till it's just about dark to light a fire so I can try and stay up for a while. <laughs> Considering there's like uh, 13 hours of darkness. I slept for 10, 10 hours last night. Probably gonna end up doing that again tonight. But I collected a lot more firewood than I had yesterday probably two to three times as much so that should get us by we've had perfect weather for two days now I didn't see anybody today not a, not a soul so I am out here all alone there is nobody out here which is pretty cool so yeah I'm gonna let the sunset roll in make some dinner light a fire Talk to the wife, go to bed. I'll check in with you in the morning. Good night. Morning. It's day number three of the trip. My uh, digital thermometer this morning said it was 22.8 degrees. So that 30 degrees they were saying was complete BS. <laughs> it got cold. The sun's just barely starting to come over the ridge. And uh, I can't wait, man, I'm cold. It's the, I had to get up this morning and light a fire. Cause I needed to sit by some heat. So I slept pretty good last night. I uh, went to bed about 10. Set up, listen to the elk bugle and stuff across the river over here. Um, went to sleep about 10. Well, went to bed about 10. I probably fell asleep about 10.30. And I honestly didn't hear a thing until five, about five o'clock this morning. There was an elk that was probably just right, not, not even a hundred feet away on the other side of these willows from me. And he let out one bugle, and oh my gosh, <laughs> I was awake. 
Luckily, though, he, he moved on. Um, I fell right back asleep. And uh, right now it is 8.08. The sun's up, but it hasn't quite reached me yet. And I'm going to hang out here in camp for a couple hours, get warm. I've got uh, my tent that has a bunch of condensation, and I need to dry that out. So good morning so far. I'm going to make me some breakfast. Here in just a few minutes, I need to warm up my gas can. And my water. My water's froze solid again, you know, because it said it's only getting down to 33. Here's looking down the valley this morning. That's uh, towards Yellowstone Lake, which is probably about a mile hour and a half from here. All right, time to get back on the trail. It's 11.15, I took my sweet time this morning. No point in rushing, I've only got seven miles to go today. I'm going over to 6A3. It's on a, a little peninsula that sticks out into the lake, uh, Yellowstone Lake. Uh, on my way out of camp, I gotta stop and get my solar panel. It's been out in the field for about the last three hours, charging up my bank. All right, made it back to the uh, Trail Creek Trail, which is the main trail. It goes out that way, and uh, we're gonna go that way. And we gotta climb here in just a minute after we cross the uh, Grouse Creek again. Approaching the halfway point of the day. We've got 4.2 miles to go to camp. So we're doing great. I think this means southern point of Yellowstone Lake. So benchmark of some kind. He went after it so much he snapped it in half. <laughs> Trying to shed his felt. So I just pulled up to Chipmunk Creek. And it is absolutely beautiful. Water's crystal clear. Might even be able to get across without uh, taking my shoes off. Here you can see uh, Mount Sheridan in the far back. I came from the right side over there. Uh, really pretty meadows just before camp and uh, last year we saw some elk right out there big old male bull elk but uh, camp is just at the tip of these uh, steeps right here these right there just uh, out on the water but yeah what a beautiful spot just pulled up at the uh, 6A3 intersection. The uh, ranger station is right up the trail here to the left. 
That's where we came from. Site 6A3, two tenths of a mile, follow shoreline. Cool. Wow. All right. Falling into camp. 6A3. It's up on this bluff overlooking the lake. What a cool sight. Now we moved spots. There are too many dead standing over there. I'm a little worried. Especially whenever you think about how tall they are and how far out they could reach. Yeah, I don't feel like getting impaled. So, I'm going to set up right here, hopefully. If I can get my stakes in. We'll see. Probably be the first night I actually have some wind. I'll keep all the condensation down in my tent. We'll see. All right. Let's go take the food out of my bag, leave it in the bear box. And Bring everything else down and get it set up and then we can start get collecting firewood. Well, I've got camp set up and I uh, figured I'd show you around camp a little bit. This is my view. Uh, the nine mile trail runs down that side of the lake and uh, it's beautiful over there. There's a ton of great campsites. But uh, what I'm looking at right now is the th start of the thoroughfare. It is flat, really flat, um, and it goes on for oh, about 15 miles or so, and then goes down to the valley that way. But uh, it's super nice right now, just a little bit of wind, just enough to evaporate the sweat, but Here's camp. I'll try to avoid the sun, but here's one of the food poles. They have a bear box here, which was nice. Got my solar panel up on top. All the firewood you could want just standing around us. Just got to be willing to work for it and cut it up. Out there is the promontory. It uh, splits Yellowstone Lake in half, basically, on the southern side. We got about two liters. It's enough to get us started. Man, <laughs> what a wild spot. If you are into uh, wildlife watching, 6A3 is quite the spot. You're up on this little uh, bluff, maybe, oh, 20 feet up. You can see everything. It's nice having a bear box right here, because I can kind of just keep everything right there, right by the fire. It's pretty nice. Oh, today's hike, <laughs> today's hike, believe it or not, was hot really hot um, I didn't see anything nothing uh, worth mentioning I mean other than you know grouse and a few deer and uh, a bunch of chipmunks my god so many chipmunks and squirrels out here but uh, 683 pretty awesome spot I'm pretty sure it's going to get uh, pretty wild tonight, especially with the thoroughfare being right there. I've already heard a bunch of elk and stuff and loons going crazy. and So, yeah. Pretty exciting. <laughs> Got my tent set up down the hill. There's kind of like a 
little marshy area and then right up above that there's a nice flat spot I went ahead and set up there already got uh, three liters of water filtered but uh, like I said I only went uh, like 7.8 miles these loons anyways I'll check back in with you if anything interesting happens and uh, take a look at the fire and stuff later but uh, this is the end of day number three. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Yellowstone, baby. Sun's just now starting to come up. It's 747. So it's time to get up. Man. This whole trip and I haven't even gotten hat head once. Uh, so it didn't even freeze last night. That's nice. Everything is dry. Morning. I slept pretty good last night. To be honest, I I woke up at like 5, it was 5 a.m. roughly. I remember I like woke up for the first time for like the real first time. And I was a little cold, so I put on my down jacket and put back on some socks. But it, uh, I think it got to 30, but it wasn't enough to really like freeze everything hard. Um, it was enough to just, you know, get frost on stuff. That's pretty much it. Which is nice because, you know, waking up to 20 degrees is, is a different, a lot different than 30 degrees. Beautiful morning. Didn't hear any big animals or anything. Um, the, the geese and ducks and stuff were just going all night long here. Heard some coyotes, didn't hear any elk. Um, I thought I heard a wolf. I mean, it was a ways off, you know, it was a real long, you know, ambulance sound thing. Anyways, it's Tuesday morning. We've got uh, 10.7 miles to go today. This spot served me well last night. I got enough wind to where it kept all the condensation down not too much to where it kept me up. Sorry about the sun here in a second. But the loons have been out on the lake being loony all morning. I haven't heard anything else other than them really. Some ducks. A little chilly. Wind's blowing. So uh, I thought about making a fire but I've decided against it said I'm going to go ahead and break camp <clears throat> and uh, get ready to go. This otter is just getting, getting closer and closer. They really want to check me out. <laughs> All right, well, it's... Uh... 10:20 a.m. and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We've got about five and a half or so miles to get uh, to the Yellowstone River. We're gonna cross that. Probably take a break there. Um, probably gonna stop at the ranger station right down here for a minute. Anyways, let's get started. Pack's getting lighter. If I wasn't carrying so much water, it would definitely be pretty comfortable. I'm I'm well below that 35 pound mark now. So real pretty creek crossing right before the ranger station. We'll go ahead and hop across this. I'm 
There we go. And here's the ranger station right up here. As you can see, I've made it to the Trail Creek Cabin. Right out uh, on the southeastern arm of Yellowstone Lake. There's two cabins here. And a picnic table and a fire pit. Talk about a million dollar spot, man. This is beautiful. And right out there on that tip, that's where I camped last night. Look at that. My God, it's so beautiful out here. So I have about a mile until the next camp. Instead of walking on the trail, I'm gonna go for a walk along the beach. Down close to the water, the rocks are pretty compacted, so they're easy to walk on. <laughs> Here's 6A4. I'm going to uh, pick up the trail right here and get back on the main trail. But uh, a nice hike so far. Came from that point right out there. Wow. These colors up on the cliffs are just vibrant. We'll be over there hopefully here in about an hour, hour and a half. Little river crossing right here. Starting to see a lot more animal sign. That's a good one. That's a black bear. There's just bear sign everywhere over here. Not to be unexpected because uh, it's kind of a narrow point. Give you guys a 360 degree view of what I'm looking at. that way. I knew I'd end up finding this rock again right on the trail. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I can hear mice or something moving. What a pretty spot. We are just now entering the thoroughfare. We gotta cross the creek right over here. Well, I might be able to walk across the big one under it and use that. Yeah, we're gonna give that a shot. Let's go. Oh, almost fell already. I just stopped to eat a Snickers. I'm about a mile and a half from uh, uh, Yellowstone River. There's just wolf tracks everywhere down through here. I mean, I've been following them for the last 20 minutes, just nonstop. Wolf, bear, elk, everything. Pretty cool. There you go. Here's my foot for comparison. It's a big dog. Pretty spot. Right before across the Yellowstone River. So from this point on, that's a big bear track. 
That's a grizzly. Uh, from this point on, this is all new trail to me. I've never done this part of the trail. I've always came up and down the nine mile. I've hiked from Heart Lake to that last signpost now twice. And this is all new. There are no boot prints I've seen, but there are stock prints, you know, horse, horseshoe. All right, made it to 6B2, and the river is just on the other side over there. And uh, we're gonna go down across and then take a break. There's just uh, tracks for days down here, man. Bear, elk, bear, bear. More bear. I mean, they're everywhere. It's pretty cool. So this is where I'm stopping to eat lunch today. It's a little after one. I really only have like three miles to camp. If I decide to camp at the, the closer one. But I might, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to push on and take uh Take the Ford. Those colors are so vibrant. Wow. Beautiful. All right, here we go across the Yellowstone River. I know it's going to be cold because I've already announced to get water. Oh. Oh, love the knees. It's up to the crush. Oh, it's going up. Oh, thank God. My legs going numb. Oh man, that's cold. That's some cold water. That was quite a climb to get up here to the uh, thoroughfare trail is what I'm on now going that way and the way I'm looking but uh, looking at the sign here <coughs> 20 20.4 20 miles back uh, up the nine mile trailhead mountain creek trail is 4.2 miles that way and my camp is 0.9 miles after that so I have 5.1 miles from here I'm in the thoroughfare now. Damn, it's a big footprint. <laughs> That's a pretty shot of turret mountain. Nice. I just passed 61. So now we're heading down. We're gonna pass 62. The spur trail that takes takes it out uh, quite a ways, about a mile off the main trail. We're not stopping there. 6C3. Is where I was uh, looking at possibly staying, but I'm feeling good. I'm gonna push on through to where my permit is at uh, River Ford. Here's Trapper. I just made it here. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have to take my shoes off, which is always nice. Save me some time. But yeah. Runs down that way towards the Yellowstone River. Yeah, 
These are the Absorca Mountains. Some pretty old mountains. Yep, big crossing. <laughs> Well, I just took a pretty hard fall. Oh, that hurt. Right over there. Oh, I lost a water bottle over there. Well, I took inventory. I'm okay. Just hurting. Oh, I kind of hurt my back too. Oh. Well, I've got like two and a half miles to go, so. I'm going to suck it up, knock this out, get to camp and uh, take some leave and I'm gonna get some firewood and stuff ready. Tonight's going to be one of those late nights where I stay up and listen to the jungle. So, oh, so strap it back on and keep going. It's just meadow. I guarantee you when it starts to cool down, because it's pretty hot right now, animals are going to be coming out like crazy. What a cool spot. Well, here's the uh, marker for 6C2. It says it's one mile this way. But it hasn't been used in a while because of the beaver dam washing it out that I can't even see a trail. Got these beautiful meadows full of willows and probably animals. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're almost to camp at the foot of that mountain over there. It's where camp is. Boy, being attentive pays off. So my lower buckle right here on my trekking pole the screw came loose and fell out right here and i was walking i thought i heard something i turned around and i saw the this right here laying on the ground whoo that would have been a pickle if i had not found that it's a good look at channel mountain i can hear the river which means i am not far from camp at all got one more crossing then camp is right there. Well, we finally made it to camp. This is a really cool spot, man. You can see Turret Mountain right over there. Um, there's a lot of areas for the tent. And it looks like there's going to be plenty of wood. So, whew, what a day. Anyways, let me get tent, uh, camp set up. I'll check back in with you shortly. Good spot. This will work. Alright. I'm gonna stop playing around and get this thing set up so we can get some firewood. Keep this horn nearby just in case. Something decides to get frisky. hurt after that fall I got pretty lucky let's go get everything and get it all chunked in here and set up we go start processing a buttload of firewood
Well, you can see Turret View up there, or Turret Mountain. It's a pretty spot. It is remote. It's like 20, 25 miles right now at this point to get to the nearest road, which is that way. <laughs> and I'm going that way tomorrow. Uh, today's hike is hot again. It's really hot here for October. I didn't really see anything of uh, interest, you know, animal wise. Ton of uh, waterfowl. I had a serious fall today. I bruised up my, my ribs and my arm pretty good. I'm beat. I'm going to wait for this uh, sun to go down a little bit more, light a fire, cook some dinner, do some laundry. I'll check in with you in the morning. Good night. All right, so here's the reality of the situation. I am running out of power, it is raining, and I don't have any sunlight. There is some sunlight over there, but I don't think I'm going to get very much of it today. Um, they're calling for rain today, tomorrow, and the day after that, um, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is just cloud cover, and Sunday's cloud cover, so I may not be able to record very much. All right, we're off. We've got everything packed up, and uh, it's a nice, cool morning. So this is going to be a great day for hiking, but uh, I've got my uh, solar panel in my pocket right here. So as soon as I get some sun, man, I'm going to stop and take advantage of that and charge up my battery because I need to keep this phone alive. Mountain Creek this morning. Pretty beautiful. So I want to give you guys a little 360 degree action here. So that's looking the way I've came. And this is a uh, first set of mountains and they just cascade down through here. So beautiful. The snow up on, on there is going to be more snow. Although there is some blue sky over there, so we'll see what happens, but that is looking up the thoroughfare, the way I am going. There's a Hawk's Rest coming into view. That's probably about five miles from here. I hear an elk bugling. Oh, I don't know the names of these mountains over here. But there was a elk right up in there. He took off. I had to power on my camera. I couldn't get him. This is going to be an awesome camp. Right next to the Yellowstone River. There's going to be some animals out here tonight. Exciting. It's partly cloudy, 
pulling for rain tonight, which is fine by me. I've got all the gear for it. Got everything I need. So you can see I'm right along the Yellowstone River. Haven't quite made it to camp. I decided to stop and give you a little 360 view. But I'm going to go get set up. Well, we made it to camp. What a spot, man. This is beautiful. I know I say that a lot, but I mean it. <laughs> yeah. I get camp set up and it's going to be chill day. Oh my God. Check this bad boy out right here. Holy cow, man. Now that's a rack. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, it's heavy, man. It's like 40 pounds. We got some more over here. I mean, check that bad boy out. Holy crap. That's insane. And they got a small one right here. Wow. This is a wild spot, man. There's bear tracks right over here in the sand on the other side of the river. I'll show you. So that's looking up the river. And got the cliff faces over there. Yellowstone River right over there actually right there some bear tracks they're all over there it continues down this way what a beautiful spot man All right, so this will be the end of day number five, halfway point of the trip. Kind of in a hurry because it's starting to rain, low on battery. Beautiful spot. I haven't seen any animals, but I've definitely heard them. I've uh, set tin up way up in the willows and uh, check in with you in the morning. Good night. Night number five, fire. It's cold and windy. Good morning. It is morning number six of the trip. Slept really good last night. I uh, got a fire going this morning. I heard uh, some elk fighting right out here. Um, some wolves last night. Tried to record that. And some coyotes right not too far behind the tent back here in the pasture. Yeah, that'll wake you up. <laughs> Um, nothing came busting by the tent. Something moving back there now, breaking branches. Anyways, I am waiting for some sunlight so I can start charging. I'm going to hang out here as long as I can charge. Uh, once the charging stops, I'm going to get on the trail. Um, I've got an easy day today going down to Skyrim, which I can pretty much see from here. Uh, as the crow flies, three miles, but uh, I'm going to uh, go down to the ranger station, uh, which basically this trail goes down and loops around the end of the thoroughfare and then comes back up. Uh, when it gets down to, on this end, to the end of this side, it has a spur trail that goes off to the ranger station. 
Uh, probably go over there, eat lunch, if I'm not able to charge until then. Either way, we're going to go to the ranger station, hopefully, <laughs> um, and then cut back across uh, to uh, Skyrim. So, yeah. Good day. I've uh, broken camp. It's 10 a.m. Still chilly. I'm afraid it's going to stay that way for the next few days. It's supposed to get progressively cooler, but not going to freeze for the next two days. So that's good, at least. I'm going to be facing some rain today. Um, got everything stuffed in my pouch trip right back here. Um, so we're heading down to the Thoroughfare Ranger Station from here. It's about three miles, three and a quarter from here. Um, hour, two hours. I'm in no, no rush at all. Look at that. Skies are clearing a little bit, at least for now. Just figured I'd take a break. Sounded like Snickers time. Plus, the sun's out. Sun's out. Making energy. Yes. And I can keep recording. I'm loving this. Some people may think I'm crazy. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful. I haven't had any issues with animals. You know, knock on wood. So there's Hawk's Rest right there. The ranger station is off to the left over there. I'm going to be there in just a minute. Look at this view. Crowds have moved back in. It's getting a little chilly. I sit here a while I can see all kinds of stuff all right we have reached the signpost for 6y5 which is right out there in those trees hey bear all right so I made it here to the thoroughfare ranger station I just scared up easily a dozen elk as I ran out of the corner back here. I had my phone turned off so I couldn't really catch them. But they ran off down that way. We're going to go up here and check this place out. Here's the Thoroughfare Ranger Station message book. I'm going to take a look here. Oh my gosh, come on. My turn to put my notes. Well, there's my note. How cool. Throw their feed and water in here. Carved out a log. How freaking cool, man. This is some old way of doing stuff. This door, man, that's a <laughs> that's a iron clasp door now. It's cleared up over there. You can actually see a little bit of blue sky. <clears throat> Damn, it feels good to achieve your goals, you know? I've been trying to get out of here for years. No more. I've done it. I'm here. This is great. I feel good. So my goal from here on out is basically just getting out. So tonight I'm camping my last night in the thoroughfare. Um, basically... 
at the foot of that valley over there where the uh, Thoroughfare River and the Yellowstone River come together. It's called the Confluence. Well, I've sat here for about an hour, did some charging, and uh, it's getting a little chilly. Wind's picking up. The weather doesn't look too bad over there, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, should be there here in about an hour, hour and a half. Well, it started raining, so I'm hiding up in some young growth. There's some thick furs and stuff up in here. So it should take the brunt of it. And I'll just sit it out or stand it out at this point. Hawks rest right there. Shrouded in clouds. As you can see, it was kind of nasty to the south. Wouldn't look too bad up here right now, but we're going to keep moving because I think some of that's heading our way. All right, I'm out here in the middle of the thoroughfare, and I figure I'll give all of you a little 360-degree action here. So that's looking up the thoroughfare, Yellowstone route. Up the thoroughfare, um, thoroughfare uh, river way. This is looking back towards where the uh, ranger station is. If you can see the clouds, that looks so cool. And then uh, back there is the uh, uh, thoroughfare trail. Pan around here, you can see that's the direction I came. So I've been coming up the thoroughfare. See the clouds up there. And uh, I came from pretty far down there, pretty much where that mountain is in the back, just to the left of that. And then just painting around, you can see all these mountains. And directly ahead is camp and the valley that I have to go up tomorrow. Well, that's a big one. Here's Thoroughfare Creek. It's a... Uh, it's clear, very clear. That has got to be some of the thickest willows I've ever walked through in my life. Good Lord. All right, we've reached 6Y4 and the campsite. At least the fire pit and food pole, hopefully. It's right over here. Let's get stuff hung. Well, I've been in here for now, over an hour, and don't get me wrong, it's comfortable. The sleeping pad is so warm, so warm that I fell asleep for a half hour. All right, so I just texted my buddy Ian, and he said that uh, the rain is pretty much cleared out, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and make dinner now, check in with you in a little bit. Well, it's only 5 o'clock, but it's been raining and it's been cold, so made a fire well this is gonna wrap up day number six I got to camp and it started raining it rained for about two hours fell asleep in the tent for a little bit got nice and warm felt good it's kind of chilly out here right now it's kind of a spooky campsite to be honest with you there's nothing but game trails all through this site I mean you can't set up your tent six by six was the same way there was, there was game trails everywhere. So I just picked a spot. We're about 100 yards that way. Yeah, 75 yards that way. But um, as soon as it quit raining, I got a fire going. I got a, a nice hot fire going, big logs. I processed up some wood. I, uh, I think I came probably about seven, seven and a half miles today. Went out to the Thoroughfare Ranger Station. Um, that was really cool. I've, I've had my, my, my uh, eyes set on that for a long time. I'm glad I was able to accomplish that. So as of now, I've accomplished everything that I've wanted to. Um, from here on out, it's pretty much just whatever. Mariposa Lake will be cool. 
but I'm not staying up there. It's too damn cold tomorrow. It's supposed to like rain and snow, so screw that. There's a campsite less than a mile down the trail that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go snag. I, I uh, texted the wife on the Zolio, and she said that uh, that campsite is not taken. With it being this late in the season, I ain't worried about it anyways. But I checked, so I'm gonna go take that one. I can have a fire there. Which means I can stay up late. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, it was a great day. I didn't see anything today. I mean, literally, I, I saw nothing. I saw, oh, that, I, that, no, I take that back. I did see some deer and some doe elk. She was big. But they took off away from me pretty quick. No way I could get out the, the uh, phone and turn it on fast enough to get that shot. But 6Y4 is where I am. It's uh, sprinkling on and off, but uh, I think it'll be a good night. If uh, nothing crazy happens or whatever, I will see you in the morning. Good night. Well, it's a good thing I brought a uh, extra pair of or three AAA batteries because I am camped deep in the woods, right up next to two rivers, and it is freaking loud here. I mean, it sounds like the jungle. There's these birds that keep flying up, going loo, 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 loo. not loons though. They're like squeaking. They keep doing loops. That and all the Pine trees are still wet and they're slowly dripping, so everything around me is clicking. So, yeah, this might be the first night I'm paranoid. <laughs> but I'm gonna sit by this fire and just listen. It'll be alright. It's always alright. See you in the morning. Morning. It's day number seven of the trip. It is, uh, it's a wet one this morning. It rained all night long, all night. And it stopped this morning about four, but it's still cloudy. I might be able to get some, some rays out of this, but not in this thick pile of trees. Not gonna get anything. Uh, it didn't get below freezing, which was nice, but everything is soaked. So I'm going to have to shake out everything pretty good before I roll it up and pack it up. Today, the plan is to uh, just climb. We've got uh, about 1,800 feet over uh, five and a half miles to climb. Um, that will put us at Mariposa Lake. Uh, the total distance is 6.2 miles, but I'm talking about the uphill section. Uh, once we come over the crest, we drop down to Mariposa Lake. That's what we're going to do. I need to make some oatmeal, drink some coffee. So I was getting ready to go to bed last night, and I thought, you know, what if it rains? So I went around and broke off, I mean, a bundle, a huge bundle of uh, tinder off the trees and stuff that are around me that are all low in the pines and stuck that underneath the vestibule of my tent along with some, uh, you know, half inch size, uh, tinder stuff. Yeah. It took me like three minutes to start a fire this morning after it rained all night. It was really nice. So a little thinking ahead went a long way. Well, here's the sign I never saw yesterday afternoon, but, uh, my crossing is going to be out this way. Probably gonna be a cold night. All right, so we've reached our creek crossing here. As you can see over there, there's the marker on the tree. That's where we pick back up the trail. But we are going to cross right here, where it's running a little faster. Actually, probably about right here. It'll be shallower there. Well, I made it across the. Uh, Yellowstone River, 
It's pretty small right now, but it picks up speed pretty quick down that way. Man, it's beautiful out here. Today's just gonna be one of those wet, sloppy days. I already know it. There's the sign <laughs> hanging my stuff. But yeah, the trail continues off to the right over here. Trail, yeah, over here. And then it continues, and then it curves up to the left, and we start climbing. So. I figured, well, we made it across to the base of this. I'll take a break for a few minutes, chug some water, and let's get going. All right, so here's the first crossing of Lynx Creek. I'm basically gonna be following this thing all the way up to the top. But the normal crossing is right down there, and because of all the rain, it's running a lot more than uh, normal. So, we're gonna do a little creative log hopping. There must be 30 of these that run down off the side of the mountain over here, down into the Lynx Creek down below, way down there. Man, this trail is something else. Here's a second crossing of Lynx Creek. I'm at about 88, 50 feet right now. I'm gonna cross this bad boy and knock out the last few hundred feet of climb up that way and then hopefully should have a pretty straight shot down okay i've come up over the summit let's see here 9258 feet right now and uh feels like it but it should be Pretty much downhill from here all the way back to the truck and that's looking the way i came pretty little meadow right before mariposa lake and it looks like i got some weather rolling in i better hurry up uh, mariposa lake first glimpse of it we're gonna hike past it it is cold. I'm uh, my feet are cold. My hands are cold. I'm actually, I need to keep moving. So we'll get another shot here in a minute. At the end of Mariposa Lake. It is cold up here, man. So we are on the South Boundary Trail. It continues off to the right there. The Two Ocean Plateau Trail um, goes up that way and cuts back across to Yellowstone Lake. Not interested in that. What I am interested in is 6M4, this campsite. I'm gonna go down here and get comfortable, get a fire going, cause I'm cold. We made it to 6M4. Got running water right down there. Fire pit right there, very important. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get uh, food hung up in these food poles right up there. And I'm gonna go find a spot to set up the tent. Well, hey folks, so uh, I made it to 6M4. <clears throat> kind of a long day. It was a pretty intense day this morning. That climb kind of sucked. But this is beautiful. All this down here, I'm still higher up than I'd like to be. Part of me wishes I would have uh, said screw it and pushed on to Fox Park. But my feet needed to break. My uh, boots got soaked this morning. They've been soaked all day. Still raining, still no sun. I'm, uh, I'm over it. So tomorrow, I'm going to 8C9. And then uh, from 8C9, it's like 8.2 miles to 8C5 or something like that. 
uh, and then a few more miles around to AJ1. What I plan on doing is basically I, I'm gonna I'm gonna push to get as far up to Heart Lake as I can. If I can get to AJ1, great. Even AJ6 would be great. But uh, either one of those, um, I'm gonna try and push for. And then I'm gonna try and get out a day early because this weather sucks. And there's no wind in sight. So, anyways, this is uh, the end of day six or seven. Yeah, day seven. It's the end of day seven. I'll catch up with you in the morning. I'm gonna make a fire here in a bit, dry some things out, and probably call it an early night because it feels like it's gonna get cold. It's already cold. It's five o'clock and it's cold. So, see you in the morning. Good night. Yeah, it's snowing. It's cold, it's wet. I'm going to bed. Good morning. It's day number eight of the trip. It started snowing last night and it snowed all night long and it's it's not quite freezing. It's right at the freezing point. So wasn't a huge fan of not being able to light a fire last night. So I tried like three times to light a fire. And I got it going. Got it going good. And then the rain came in and it was heavy rain. And it extinguished it. Got it going again. And rain came in again and it killed it. And then I woke up about... Uh, 1 a.m. and it was dead silent so I got up went out to go light a fire and as soon as I got going the stinking snow came in and it was so bad I couldn't hardly see and I gave up on it and came up here to the tent so my socks are wet my shoes are wet uh, I do have some waterproof socks I'm gonna wear today just so that way I don't have to uh, walk through all the the snow and, and wet gear we'll see all right so as you can see it is coming down it's coming down pretty good um, it's not gonna stop me from going on down the trail but uh, I'm gonna just I just made some coffee I'm gonna drink that I'm get all my uh, cold weather gear and rain gear on and uh, here in about an hour, we're going to start and we're going to head to the Fox Park Patrol Cabin. And then we'll go from there after we kind of take a break and warm up and figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so I made it back to the main trail. Uh, we're heading towards the Snake River, which is uh, two point something miles away. cabin no one's here kind of sucks wish someone was because then we'd have a fire but there isn't and there's no tinder cut up that i can uh, borrow so i'm gonna sit here for about two three minutes because i can't i can't sit still i'll get too cold and then uh time to get moving again oh it's right at 32 but i wish you would uh warm up I need to dry off. So I have to cross the heart, sorry, the Snake River here. And there's a, a beaver dam it looks like, or he's been trying. So I'm gonna walk kind of across that. And it goes out this way and goes on. I'm gonna be following it all the way down to the confluence of the Heart River and the Snake River. So uh, I've got quite a bit of work to do ahead of me. Let's get after it. All right, so I made it to 8C9 and uh, Crooked Creek, which runs right by the camp is right over there. I'm slated to camp here. I am not going to camp here because the weather sucks. It has gone from snow to rain to snow to rain to snow to rain, and I'm tired of it. I'm cold, wet, and to be honest, I'm getting kind of pissed off. So 
I'm going to push down to 8C5, I think, which is the heart and snake confluence. If, uh, if I feel good when I get there, then I might even go up to 8J6 or 8J5 or whatever it is back up in there. All right, I'm almost out of the Snake River Valley. Coming down this way. You can see we got some waterfalls right down here. You can't see one of them. Maybe here in a minute. It has been absolutely pouring snow on me. And sleet. And then now rain. And I'm just trying to hurry and get down the mountain. But camp is down there. Uh, and to the left some, I think. Well, I'm at the uh, three-quarter mark of it actually a little bit over that um, it'll end up being like a like a 16 or 17 mile day but uh, let me show you what it looks like around me right now so that's looking down the valley the direction I'm going as I pan around here you can see we can start to get some snow and stuff but uh, you can see that peak up there is covered with the river down here and it continues back up that way. It was cold up there. There's this creek running down into the uh, Snake River. But uh, that's pretty cool. He's still uh, a little sinew and stuff left on him. So I did the 10.4 uh, miles today, plus the seven and a half or something like that from the other camp. It's, can't remember the name right now. But uh, Trail Creek Trail is 3.3 miles tomorrow, and Heart Lake Cabin to 7.7. .7. And then it's, uh, I don't know how far it is to get out, maybe 14 miles, maybe 15. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Camp's right down here. I'm gonna go down here and, and get off my feet. So I'm at, uh, I think, 8C5 or whatever. I have like 30% battery left and winter storm as of tomorrow afternoon. So I came 17 and a half miles today. My feet feel every bit of that right now. I have a fire going, trying to dry stuff out. Um, I'm getting up super early and I'm gonna hike the rest of the way out in the morning. So. I will catch up with you in the morning. Good day. Good night. Last fire of the trip. Hopefully. <laughs> Good morning. It is day nine of the trip. So I woke up at seven and uh, wiped down my tent. A uh, surprising amount of water collects in that tent. Um, broke camp made breakfast and it is just after eight right now and I am getting on the trail I want to try and be out by three because by five a winter storm is supposed to start moving in I don't want to be around for that hey bear but uh slept good my knees and my feet are absolutely screaming at me I took some leave this morning to try and help with that. I think I just need to get them warmed up. Would you looky there? I didn't even have to get my feet wet. Just came across that right there at that log pile and walked on over to here. Perfect. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to take my boots off for this one. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, this is the Heart Lake River. It's coming out of Heart Lake, and I need to cross that, and my path is right up there. So I'm gonna walk up and down a little bit, see if maybe I can find a way. This might actually work. So I don't know, if I fall, I'm gonna end up uh, getting my boots wet, and I don't know if I wanna deal with that. So I made it back to the uh, main trail. I've got 4.4 miles to make it to my halfway point, which is at the uh, Heart Lake Patrol Cabin, so. I'm gonna get after it. I should be there here in just a little bit over an hour. 
Here's Heart Lake today. Those uh, mountains you see back, actually, right over there, that uh, split in the mountains is what I came down yesterday. Anyways, this is Heart Lake. It's about 11.30 in the morning. It's uh, starting to build up some, so I'm gonna try and get out pretty quick. We got seven and a half miles left. One last look back at Heart Lake. The Snake River Valley, which is over there, which I came down yesterday. What a beautiful spot. Whew. Tell you what, after doing 11 miles, this climb to get up to here kind of kicks your butt. Whew. Anyways, nothing else really to see from here on out. I'll see you at the truck. Well, I did it. By the map, it says 87 miles. By my GPS, it says 97.2. But uh, I'm going to go to town, get some food, take a shower, get cleaned up, 